Hey guys, it's Steven Muniv here at Intrepid. I wanted to show you uh, how diverse in options Intrepid can be. Uh, these are three 475 sport yachts in front of me. There's a fourth behind uh, these two. And uh, it's just a great opportunity to show you different options, what the customers are thinking, what they're putting on, uh, this will be a quick video. I'm going to run through it quick. Uh, it'll be just of the 475 and some of the obvious exterior options that I noticed right off the bat. So um, you can obviously get different color holes. Uh, you can see there's a boot and pin that uh, you can get. You can get it. You don't have to get it. They can be different colors. You can mix and match. Um, you can get hull color that comes down to the water line we can put it above the rub rail so uh, we can paint up to anywhere you want typically this is what you see here but we can do custom um, paint jobs we can do uh, custom gel coat colors we can powder coat in different color although what you see here this white is the typical gel coat color and the powder coat um, on the aluminum that you normally see uh, we let the intrepid customer decide on what electronics he puts on the boat. So for example, he went with an open array Furuno, uh, Spotlight, he didn't go with a uh, radar just yet. Uh, he's got a FLIR, he's got a FLIR, he's got a closed dome Garmin. Um, they can choose different uh, areas to put their speakers. Uh, he's going with a sun pad up in the front, you can see the snaps and the and the rail uh, those two didn't as far as enclosures they can do it however they want uh, he hasn't gone with an enclosure just yet looks like that one's a harder material acrylic um, that uh, folds on the underside of the hard top um, because you can't really uh, fold that it's, it's it's hard it's stiff this one you can uh, this one has uh, uh, this zipper that you open up and you can roll it up so this is a little bit softer material, but um, you know, whatever you want. Uh, as far as layout, typically all the same layouts. Everybody seems to like um, this L-shaped seating. As far as the helm seat, you can get whatever you want. You can get dual stid uh, or pompinet seats or whatever other brand you choose. Uh, this one has dual pompinet uh, on top of a custom fiberglass box. The box has a uh, ice maker and fridge. That one has uh, a bench seat. I'll back up and show you in a second. Uh, let me show you some other stuff. They're installing right now plastic deck uh, flooring. Um, you can see some obvious little things that that one did that the other one didn't. Uh, as far as speakers, he went with speakers in in the cockpit on the upper deck. Um, he probably has some maybe under the gunnel. He went with a lot of speakers over there. He's got a, a wash down, uh, fresh and hot water. He didn't do that. Um, fresh and salt water on both of these. They both went with uh, 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 the dive door that swings in as opposed to folding out. The advantage of the swing in is that your guests can uh, come on uh, from a floating dock. Uh, this one, these both have the fiberglass folding rear bench seat, which is really nice. I'll show you that in a second. Um, this guy, let me back up here. You can see a better shot here. So both these 475s, and this is really nice that I can show you this. Okay, so this one has quad 350 Yamahas. That one has quad 350 Mercs. These are uh, factory painted Imran by us. This one is factory painted by Mercury. Um, you can see that the stitching and the upholstery configuration is different on both. Uh, he's gone with a four inch roll and pleat uh, with specific color and pattern. He went with like a horizontal stripe with a contour calming bolster look. Um, you can see the different colors. We can do metallic, we can do uh, solids. Um, 
same hard top. Uh, you can see the enclosures are different. You can get, uh, he wants to roll up, he wants to fold and snap on the underside. You can see a bigger fridge with the ice maker, ice maker with a little bit of a smaller fridge. Here is a nice example of a half tower hard top. Um, so the biggest difference you can, let me see if I can back up here. So that's, a, that's the same hard top as the other two. Um, you see how the, that uh, it's one piece fiberglass comes down to the gunnel um, that supports the hard top. Here it's all aluminum that uh, you can choose to powder coat if you want. Uh, those are the biggest difference. Uh, they're both really nice. Uh, so whichever one you like. This is the standard helm seat that we use. It's on pedestals with footrests. It has uh, buttons to go forward, back, up and down. Give you a nice shot right there. Uh, another style configuration of the upholstery. Uh, this one is flat with a horizontal line. So instead of the contour, it's flat. That one we'll talk about in a second. Um, here's a nice example of the removable rear bench seat as opposed to the fiberglass folding rear bench seat. You can pull these pins out from under there and remove the whole rear bench seat. Uh, really nice. Uh, some people like it. It's very comfortable. It has armrests. Um, you can maximize fishing space because the fiberglass folding rear bench seat comes out a couple inches. Um, some people really uh, consider that very important to have. So you can do either or. Uh, the fiberglass folding rear bench seat, some people uh, consider more practical because you can get it out of the way uh, fast. You can entertain your guests by putting it away if they want more space, um, bring it down have them sit and relax, bring it up so you can fish. You know, this one's a little bit more labor intensive if you want to try to get it off the boat to fish. But some people consider it more uh, comfortable. So here's a good example of engines that have not been painted. They came straight from Yamaha like this. That's the metallic Yamaha silver paint that they have. Um, here's another shot of the swinging uh, dive door as opposed to a fold out. I'll back up so you can see it. This is the biggest uh, boat that we make so far. Uh, you're very lucky that I'm filming uh, four at the same time. That's pretty cool. So here we have, okay, that is a beast. This is like a video all on its own. So I'm not even going to talk about that today. We'll stick with the 475 sport yachts um, and the options. Just There's so many options, but I'm just sticking with some obvious stuff here. Okay, so um, that is the arch top, right? This is the same, but with an integrated uh, sunshade. So let me get closer and I'll show you how that works. I'll talk about those engines in a second. So basically this comes out with a touch of a button up to the transom area and really nice, really convenient. Um, it's integrated. Uh, there's nothing bad about it. It's pretty cool. Um, you can simply get a sunshade that goes into a track on the underside of the hard top with some poles and uh, put it up in a couple minutes and you can go with that option so either or but that one's really nice because it's integrated and you just press a button so uh, yeah these are the 7 marine 627s they are six, 627 horsepower it's pretty badass um, you can get four on, uh, on the 475 Sport Yacht. This one has three. It's still plenty. It's still fast. Um, so really cool because you've got 
four uh, four seventy fives with different uh, engines. You got seven Marines. We can put Mercury. We can put Yamaha. We can put Yamaha without painting the the engines. Um, really nice that you can see all the different options here. Uh, let's see what else. This is the combing bolster that's a contour as opposed to a flat look. Uh, Seven Marine does paint the engine themselves, so they'll match whatever Imran paint that we chose. The Intrepid decals um, can be painted or they can be decals. Um, the deck, let's see if I can get closer here. The deck windows are tinted, but we can uh, make them uh, the color of the gel coat, so it's a nice, cleaner look. Uh, the only downside is you can't see through them, but you still get natural light. Other than that, there are pretty big differences on the 475. It's a really nice riding hull. Um, and uh, if you want to see more videos, you should let me know because this is the first. Um, comment below, uh, call me, text me. Uh, you can like the video, subscribe. Those are the best ways to let me know that you want to see more videos. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, so let me know what you want to see in the future. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you next time.